All right, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of SDR TV. For this tech stack review, we got is gonna be Apollo.io. Nice, 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 Apollo. So let's pull it up real quick. Where are you, Apollo? Apollo.io. Let's do this. See how what Apollo is all about. See what Apollo is all about. It's currently 1.30 a.m. Uh, June 6, 2020. Can't stop, won't stop, baby. Work all day, every day. Actually, should we log in? So, same thing. All right, guys. Let's sign in to Apollo.io. Here we are on the trial version. All right, let's see what we got here. So, <clears throat> looks pretty nice here. Download the Chrome extension, download contact, invite your friends, tell a team member. Okay, yada, 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 yada. We got that. Engagement automation, email and call prospect with Apollo. So we have a dialer too, nice. Find contact, ooh, okay. Sales engagement, dialer, and elite scraper. Okay, that, that's three in one. Skip the onboarding, baby, right, this page. So, cockpit, nice. Sales rep cockpit, sales manager cockpit, okay. Okay, looks good. So this is the front UI. You're automatically, you'll get drawn into the cockpit and pretty much see which email has been opened within the last hour, completed tasks, all that good stuff. We, we call stats. And let me see here, are we able to move these around? Cool, okay. People. Okay, this gotta be the lead scraper right here. All right, and let's see if they could find my boss, David Delaney. See if he's in there. Oh, it's <laughs> David D, my man. Wow, okay. So, company page, founder, CEO, request email, if Apollo finds verify, will cost one credit. So, how many credits do we have? Boy, 12, not bad. Okay. It's actually not bad. Um, let's pretend we're looking for, you know, VP of sales. Type that in. Okay. Not bad. All these leads. And the UI actually looks pretty nice. It's pretty nice and modern. It's laid out. Uh, we can see from the title, from the company, moving to the right, moving to the right, it's email, phones, personas. All right, let's scratch that. So, personas, sales leaders, talent, seniorities. Let's just mess around. Says so sales development rep. Okay, SDRs, BDRs, title. Sales development. Okay. 297. Well, that's pretty off, right? Compared to uh, LinkedIn sales, now we have thousands and thousands. So, yeah, definitely not 297. T Mobile has SDRs. I didn't know that. T Mobile itself. Okay, so let's check out companies. Okay, top 16.5 mil opportunities. Okay, so it looks to me like you actually kind of got a CRM built in style. Nice. Let's add an opportunity testing. Testing. SDU training amount five thousand opportunity stage 
proposal. Close date next week. Account. There's no account. Custom lead source. Type lead source. Cold call. Huh. Add or remove custom opportunity field. Opportunity field. Uh, cold call. Type. Single data fix. My what is this? Single line text. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. And it moved us back to the opportunity stage. So SDU consulting, 5K. Opportunity stage proposal, close date next week. Account, there's no account still. Lead source still not working, code call stage. Actually, why won't we just click back on that and press save? What the fuck, guys? Do you 5,000 <clears throat> opportunity stage? We want to go ahead and click on proposal next week and see what saves account type. Well, there's no account. Guess we can't do it yet. Fuck, whatever. Market research analytics. Nice analytics setting page. All right, let's create a campaign. Bam. Market research. Market research. Variable, variable, variable. Interesting. Upload image, text. Uh, Hi, bro. Uh, with the protest, protesting nowadays, how do you feel? Um, Hi, Bob. Has the protests affected affected your line of work? Line of work in any way? Okay, so it has the signature automatically signed in already, so that's nice. See, we're able to add pictures, upload images. So I'm going to pull up to desktop and let's go for a market research picture. See what happens. Nice. Resize it too. Oh, shit. There you go. I like that. Okay. Okay. So you can upload pictures on the spot. That's a lifesaver. Include signature. That's good. Boom, A, B test. Oh, shit, man. All right, for turning it on. We're going to do this for our, with all caps. SDRs. Hey, John. Hey, John. Uh, the protest is insane. Has it affected you? Has it affected you in your line of work? Best. No pictures. Bam. So we have two A B tests now. That's cool. Add a step. So okay, so automatic manual email tasks is create deliver phone call tasks is create cost faster. Oh, look at that. Okay, see the sales engagement platform offering what the others didn't when you're adding steps, right? They're letting you do if it's a manual email or a manual call or an action item, such as creating a LinkedIn. Let's go with a phone call. Boom, wait for two days, uh, one day. One day, add note, boom, add step. Okay, let's add an action item. Let's say this is what action right this? Let's go to Twitter, social. Uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. This is bam. Let's go down one day too as well. Bam. So you see the action number three is like, okay, what is this? And boom. Uh, automatic emails delivered automatically. Bam. New thread or reply to previous. Okay, so this is actually pretty nice. 
very smooth, very, very, very smooth. I like that, okay. So it pops up, gives you the full view right here, and you can even add a manual email. So what that's, that's what I like about this. Um, there's a lot of other sales engagement platforms where they don't give you the option to add a manual email and just send it away and add it to the campaign. Most people just add it manual, add it to the campaign. But Apollo.io, let's see, do manual, and then automatic, 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 and then manual again. So that's a game changer right there. Good stuff, Apollo.io. So far, so good. I like it. I like it. All right. So, Bob, are you involved in the protest at all? Yes. <laughs> that's it. Okay. And add one more step. Let's go for manual email. Wait for two days. This is a high priority. Two days. Boom. Manual email. Okay, this is a previous example how to click a general email. And this can reply in the body. So this is the manual email though. So what does this look like? Bob. Stay safe out there. But it's manual email, so manual email day six. I believe we get to adjust it when the time comes. I have to double check on that, but let's take a look. So we have contacts, emails, tasks, phone calls, insights, persona breakdown, company size, activity logs. Okay, let's go add them some people. So people. Okay, so let's look at the campaign one more time, sequence. We got day one, let's see here, market research SDRs. So we're reaching out to SDRs. Okay, let's go find people. Boom, boom, boom. Where she is any of. Uh, not always known. Uh, okay, sales development rep. All right, so let's add on some SDRs and see what this looks like. Wait a minute. Search people, star, no, no stars, territory, name. Personas, title, and security, sales development rep, sales development rep. All right, cool. So let's add in these people. How many people we got? Fuck it. Let's add them all. Select 100, one person per company. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. So SDR and BDR is running a demand gen style. Uh, what happens is that you can sometimes get a full list of a lot of different people around in the same company or same people in the same company. And it gives you a limit of filtering of adding one per company. I fucking like that. Let's get that shot. Save contacts. All right, direct dials. That's a sequence. Fuck it, man. Add them in. Try to know what will cost you 100 plus. You have 85 credits left. Your admin impose a credit of limit of 50. Okay, so I guess. <laughs> All right, let's redo this. They only gave me 50 credits. Add them to the sequence, baby. Boom, boom. Okay, so not bad. Not bad at all. Looks pretty nice. So the question is how accurate and good is their lead, lead scraper, really? I mean, you can't fully depend on it all the time. But if so, it makes it look good. Um, so we got pause, 50 here. 
Why is it paused? This fire this campaign make it active. So it automatically split up contacts from A and B automatically. Look at that. Okay. Be active. Overview, emails, tasks, phone calls, insights went on. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so it's active. Where is the delivery? Sent normal business hours. Let's see if we can just send it now. Uh, create a phone task, active open three more. Browse, business hours, schedules. 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. Sequence group set defaults. You may edit the sequence here. So we're gonna see if we can edit the, the settings and just fire it away right now. Sequence rule set. Mark data since other CC emails, BCC. So by default, you can't change it. Mark contacts, do not mark. This has nothing to do with that. Schedule, here it is. Schedule, uh, add a time block, that's nice. Normal, delete, use contacts, time zone, that's nice using contacts time zone so you don't have to send it in your own time zone, which is nice. Clear, clear, clear. So I'm gonna clear this real quick. And set it right now. Fuck. Skip the final. Use the contacts with the time zone. Civic. Normal business hours. So today is Saturday, let's go with 1 a.m. Add time block. Wait a minute, this is time block though. This is time block, it's different. Let's see, that works. Activity log, settings. So a typo, it says add time block, but time block means when you're not, oh, these are sending windows. Okay. Let's, let's do this right now. Let's see what it sends. We got 1 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's already 1 a.m. here. Fuck, it doesn't even change. Uh, the following rules are specific to security fire. When there's another reply within a second, I create a phone call, does it change? Maximum email sending per hour row. So this doesn't tell us here. Why won't they let us do it? Well, I guess we just gotta wait then since it's already scheduled. Clone act. Give it active. Change. Oh, that's why there's no Saturday in here. And they do that as a rule, as a business hour rule. That's why. Okay, well, we just gotta wait and send it later then. All right, guys, and uh, that's it for now. Come back later. Cheers.